Hello everyone, this is the first Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update to the Kherson Front or the Kherson Offensive. Um, a main, major incident happened uh, yesterday uh, uh, because the Ukrainians launched a rather major attack and uh, a lot of things have happened, a lot of details coming from the pro Russian side. And in fact, all the information is coming from the pro Russian side. So if you are uh, the, the type of pro Ukrainian uh, crowd that uh, don't believe anything, um, the pro Russian side say, you know, we by the uh, Ministry of Defense of Russia, uh, then nothing happened, you know, you can don't watch. But if you are the type of uh, message, you know, the kind of people that don't like to, you know, torture yourself and uh, you like to have uh, some emotional damage, uh, you know, you savor that feeling, you know, and uh, you can continue to watch uh, on. So uh, the Ukrainian forces are reportedly from uh, Nova Kalinka and uh, Nova Kalinka region. Uh, they launched a major offensive uh, yesterday. Uh, towards this month, the Bichani, Milove, and uh, perhaps the Indian Sukhanovi, no, in this direction. So the Ukrainians launched a major offensive across this entire front. Uh, and uh, based on the rider's mapping, they show them uh, drawing an arrow towards Sukhanovi, and uh, towards this line as well, and uh, towards probably also towards the uh, Bichani, because uh, at the time, the Ukrainian forces uh, only hold the northern half of the line, whereas the, the Russians only hold the lower half uh, of this uh, town because there is a river that crosses it, across it and uh, there is fighting reported uh, over here. So the Russians are holding this position and uh, they are holding uh, this position by the actually no town around here and of course, you can do. So based on the Based on all the information that we have seen over the past uh, one or two weeks, um, it's quite clear that uh, Sabukivka and uh, Karashki, uh, Kaskarivka is actually not under Ukrainian control. And in fact, uh, even right back have uh, adjusted the mapping to this line, which I had reported, you know, the day after, you know, one day after, you know, I thought that uh, based on the initial report that Ukrainians had reached uh, Milovi. But however, uh, the next day I really corrected that the line seems to be here because based on the Russian Ministry of Defense and another Russian sources, uh, the line, the, the Russian line and the Chinese seems to have helped. So, uh, and uh, eventually Ryba seems to also have changed the mapping to reflect this. So, the, the assault start off uh, by the Ukrainians is by the uh, fast moving forces. They, they launch a heavy artillery strike uh, from uh, petrol Poliska, uh, missiles, uh, rockets, you know, Rex type of missiles, and then uh, uh, rockets, uh, artillery, and then bombard the lines. And then uh, while they are doing the heavy bombardment, uh, the Ukrainians launch a quick attack trying to penetrate through uh, with uh, jeeps and these you know, fast moving vehicles, you know, and uh, led by special forces. You know, this is what they're trying to do. Um, to penetrate through the Russian lines while you know, they, they are um, uh, hiding from the artillery strikes. Uh, however, um, the the Russians seem to know they are coming and uh, they actually know uh, took out you know, the initial vanguard forces where the uh, where they was doing the penetration. And importantly, according to the Russian sources, there is a lot of losses from the from this initial vanguard. So this fast moving force is followed by mechanized and armor and uh, they are all you know, moving, uh, they are all operating, oh, so wrong button, sorry. They are moving uh, around uh, this region they are moving in. And uh, well, so the, then the Russians actually use artillery to try to block them down. And uh, But the Ukrainians have a lot of uh, ASS. So what is interesting is that the Russians actually launch uh, drone strikes uh, and uh, this location is called uh, Muratiska. So, Muratiska, and then uh, this, and then this is a Zelini, Zelini High, and uh, this location is called uh, Muroze, Muro Red Zere. So, uh, the these three locations are where the Ukrainian uh, surface to missile uh, are located and they got t- took out by Russian drone strikes. So, they, so all these suicide drones uh, perhaps you know, have been uh, reconnaissance this area and then they actually strike at the surface of the missile. Which is kind of uh, irony because uh, surface of the missile is supposed to hit something that's in the air, but they got t- 
to now by uh, the drones. And with this, uh, so this is how we to now. Uh, the Russian Air Force started to bombard, uh, uh, bombard uh, this entire area here. They started to pick out all the all the Ukrainian units that survived the artillery strikes, and uh, and then the Ukrainian forces started to retreat because the artillery strikes already you know disoriented them, and uh, the Ukrainian forces are uh, starting to you know, move, uh, try to retreat in whatever direction that they can, and. Uh, the Russian air strikes just tried to pick up you know, all these uh, all these Spangler units, and uh, and uh, as as this started to happen, the Russian uh, launched a counter offensive. Uh, as they clear out all uh, they clear out all this um, all this area uh, with infantry, they start to sweep through all the forest line, and then they actually launch a counter offensive uh, towards Nova Kalinka. So this is what happens uh, well, while the Ukrainians are. Uh, Enjoying. So, uh, pretty dramatic. So, at the end of the day, this is actually what has happened. Uh, the Ukrainians launched a major offensive, but it didn't seem to work out, and, and the Russians actually launched a couple offensive. However, uh, there is no indication that the Russians captured Nova from the Hamilton just yet, even though there's a couple offensive towards this, this, this location. And uh, on the, in the afternoon, we caught. Um, by the Russian Defense Ministry, they also reported um, probably from the day before that the Ukrainians actually launched uh, an attack on um, Sadov and um, Ischenka. So these two locations as well as on uh, Utani in the Russian. So this, uh, however, no, nothing seems to be uh, being reported about the fall of Sadov or Ischenka, which means that the attack is not worked out. So the Russians not just launched a counter-offensive over at Nova Kalanka, they also actually launched a counter-offensive uh, towards City Starbuck. They are uh, attacking towards City Starbuck, and uh, while that is also happening, uh, they picked, uh, the Russians seem to have taken out five different pontoon crossings uh, across the entire Inhulus region. So, not exactly so where are the, you know, the locations, but you know, five of these uh, crossings, probably one more at the north of the Bridge has been taken out. Uh, to deny the Ukrainians the ability to actually, you know, send reinforcement through the British grid, um, or, you know, through all these crossings, uh, to put more pressure towards uh, the strong power region. Because uh, the Ukrainians have been trying to, you know, attack uh, through, towards the strong but uh, maybe, you know, uh, the Russians just, you know, don't want to entertain them anymore, so they took out all the public crossings. So these potential crossings, uh, it's no longer workable, and then uh, this will actually reduce the number of attacks coming from Bale Hoka and then this grid uh, towards uh, the Kuskinski and Kostrom Kostromka. So, uh, this is the situation now uh, in the person front and the person offensive from the Ukrainians are still ongoing. You might see this, uh, if, I believe that you are, if you are watching this still at this point, uh, you most likely are pro Russian. Uh, this does not mean the Ukrainian Kursan Offensive has failed. This is just yet another day of fighting. The Kursan Offensive is still ongoing. This is just another attempt, just like the Russians uh, over at the uh, Bangwood Front. They just keep trying and keep trying. So, you no, know, it's, it's just an ongoing kind of thing. So, you know, don't take this as a victory. It's not a victory. Uh, it's just simply a successful defense. And this is what the Ukrainians are also extremely good at. So, anyway, this is the quick update, uh, you know, from the um, Kersen front, and uh, I can also show you some of those, uh, some of the sources. Uh, I can show the drone strikes at uh, Zelini High, you know, at Nobo, Nobo, and I also belong to Kulanta, Kulakis, and then um, Roots, and then Puchani, uh, so there is a fighting with Bichani, the fighting reported between Bichani and Nobe because the Russian and the Ukrainian forces launched this way in. And then um, fighting towards, um, towards Nobe from Nova Kalanka. These are all the details that I actually don't talk about just now. I didn't talk about the losses. Uh, if you really want to know the losses, uh, the, the attack is launched by 60 infantry with armored vehicles and um, eventual losses, you know, seems to be, uh, it's not reported here. There's 
Uh, they say that there are 30 tanks in the United States, in the forest, in the city, and in the other information. Yeah, just like that. So, anyway, yeah. So, yeah, this is the, you know, the sources. If you do not, if you are new to this channel, uh, every single information that I have described is uh, all mentioned uh, with sources. And, um, so, you know, including you see the, the, the Russian attack and attack aircraft, you know, work on the transport and treatments that we don't end. And also the initial position of the Ukrainian forces that they launched the attack from. So, uh, everything is sourced. The link to this map uh, is in the description below. Uh, if you lazy to see, it's defensepolitics.com slash Ukraine. So, anyway, uh, this is the quick update coming from the Kersen files. And uh, I will see you in the next.